Love just slips out, doesn't it? You ever find yourself doing something that's generous and kind and it wasn't necessarily your intention because you had some vendetta against somebody? Love's a lot stronger than your judgments, your shame, your fears. And that's in a constrained, difficult way, but now let's talk about the ways in which we choose to be loving and it just doesn't come out right. It doesn't come out in a way that other people understand. It doesn't come out where the people actually feel loved and supported because you hit some limitation or they did. But love still finds a way to have a creation that's happening through whatever was open in the people involved and whatever was open in you. And then there's something that happened even though you might find yourself shaming yourself for not doing it right. I'm inviting you to say, let love out anyway. Because you will do what you want to do, let's face it. And what do you want to do most? It's an important question to ask yourself. What do I want to do most with my life? Prove somebody wrong? There's all kinds of research showing how our bodies stop functioning at ultimate levels, optimal levels, when we hold resentment or anger. So why do, why do we think that's an effective choice? We now have the choice repeatedly to pay attention to what we're choosing. Because if you are doing something that is not creative to your own life, you're choosing it because you want to. And there could be an experience afterwards, well, I'm doing it because I was shamed and I don't know how to do it any better. But if you're in this room or in this field through video on camera or on the phone, there's some part of you that knows you can choose and you are choosing things. Choosing things to do, choosing things to say, choosing ways to be. No shame about that, just choose what represents the highest and finest that is of you. You are not here by accident. You are the revelation of, you can be the revelation of love. And love is actually being revealed through you, even though it's squirming through the funny little places where you finally let it out. It takes some discipline, some obedience to that which is most sacred and tender in you. Stop yourself on occasion and say, Wait a minute, what do I want most here? When I build up the muscles of the part of me that wants to deliver that into the world, it's automatic. To see that um, each one has been called to their greatness, even if they've forgotten. There are times when people show up at sunrise and I realize, I called you home and I just met you. You can have that thrilling experience too. I called you to me so that we might do something magnificent together because the design at those levels has us together to do something great. And what could be greater than what I want, which is the revelation of love through my life, through my living, through my friendships, Be the revelation of the answer, of the hope of the world. Let people touch the calling because of the way you speak, the way you love them. The revelation of the design of love coming through you as a person, a man or a woman, revealing their passion because of the choices they make.